all right so previously we have seen how we can create a DynamoDB table and how we can put information to DynamoDB and thereafter we had also seen how we can read a DynamoDB table now I'm gonna show you how you can create and manage EC2 instance with AWS CLI but before we create EC2 instance we have to understand what are the information which we need before creating any EC2 instance. For any EC2 instance, we need there a key pair. We also need to define how much volume and we want to attach with our EC2 instance. We have to also say that here, what is a security group which we can attach with the EC2 instance. That means basically these few things are very important and these are compulsory and these are required to create any EC2 instance. Uh, there is a, you know, the easiest way to create EC2 instance just by clicking here launch instance. But since it is uh, our lecture on how we can create it with AWS CLI, I'll be uh, showing you and telling you we will be needing security group, key pairs and volumes. So the first of all, we are going to create here a key pair and then we will create security group and other required things. Then finally, we will create EC2 instance. And here you can check at uh, instances. We do not have any instance here. All right. So this instance page is empty here. After some time, once we create it with this CLI, you will be able to see your EC2 instance here. All right, at AWS CLI, so AWS is already there. Now we need to get here EC2. And uh, thereafter, we can say here, create instance, uh, sorry, create key pair. All right, so there is EC2. And uh, then we are going to say here, create key pair. And then we have to assign what is a key name which we are going to create here. So I'm going to say here a key name is KGP Talky. And I don't want to display my key pair here in this uh, display. So for that, I can directly save it in a new file. So that is a query. And in the query, what I'm going to say here, I'm going to say a key material. That's mean whatever inside this key, we have to output it. That's mean we are going to say here, we have to output it in the form of text data. And uh, the file, I'm going to say here, kgp talky.pem. So this is a standard file for a key pair. Let's go ahead and hit the enter. Then we should be uh, there should be a key pair there. All right. All right. It says that key pair KGP talky is already exist. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say the key pair, uh, let's say YouTube perhaps. All right. All right. And uh, key pair name, I'm going to say here YouTube. All right, let's go ahead and uh, run it. Now it should be created. I think I already had a name with a key pair with the name of uh, KGP Talky. That is why it is not calculated. So there is key pairs. Now if you click on this key pair, you should be able to see here this YouTube. And this YouTube key is just created. All right. And what we can do, we can delete this because I don't need this. All right, let me type this delete here. So those key pair, two key pairs are uh, deleted. Now I don't need those. They're uh, YouTube, all right. So this YouTube key pair we had created from here. Now if you want to get the information about this key pair from this uh, um, AWS CLI itself, we can get. But before that, we have to you know, we have to get the permission, uh, this private uh, file, we have to set here a permission. All right, so 
we are going to set here read only permission with ch mod all right so for that one we have to exit from here so let's go ahead and exit all right ah sorry i think with control and c no we should be able to exit no are we what is this i think f10 i have to press here f10 to exit all right let's go ahead all right so there we should be seeing here our key pair it's kgp talkie dot pem this is the key pair and uh, it is inside a root directory we are going to first set here a permission which is going to be a ch mod all right in the ch mod 400 thereafter i'm going to say here uh, this one youtube.pem all right youtube.pem that's me now the permission is here read only permission all right now once read only permission we have got thereafter we are going to again enter into aws cell so we can enter in aws cell all right so there inside this aws cell now do remember even if you don't enter into this aws cell we can use aws cli but only problem will be there auto completion so for auto completion we have to use here aws cell all right so here we have aws thereafter we have ec2 all right thereafter we have here a describe all right so we are going to say here describe key pairs all right describe key pairs and then i'm going to say here a key name which i want to be described here so that's the youtube all right so we should be able to see let me see uh what is this a lot of information is coming i think uh something i did wrong perhaps well uh, this aws is repeated two times that should not have been there so let's go ahead and copy this one i'm going to simply copy this part and then i have to paste it here all right let's go ahead and run it because aws is already there we are inside aws cell so it says that we have a describe key pair key pair fingerprint is this one key name is this one key pair id etc all right now you see there how beautiful is this we don't need to visit this uh, console every time we can get all these information directly from our aws cli now if you want to delete this aws uh, key pair you can simply do like this one uh, okay A aws we already have ec2 delete key pair all right so with this there we have aws ec2 delete key pair and then we have to provide here a key name which we want to delete let's say youtube so with this this key will be deleted from here all right and if you refresh it now you will see here there is no key pair to display now with the same process which we did earlier now we can create it so there aws describe uh, all right there we have but uh, this time i'm gonna create here this youtube dot pem uh, okay it says that uh, permission is denied there so what i'm going to do here instead of this one i'm gonna create here this kgp talkie perhaps this time all right so this kgp talkie dot pm is created and uh, you can see that that perhaps uh, i had it in home i don't remember exactly where it is it was in home all right so it's there all right kgp and this youtube we had deleted from internet so i'm also going to delete it from here as well it was created here today all right 10 21 and yes it's just created some times ago all right so we have here kgp talkie pem 
now we have to do here a ch mod 400 so i'm gonna open it here in a new terminal so that i can run this ch mod here directly so i'm gonna say here a ch mod 400 thereafter this kgp talky dot pm now it's read only mode it is executed all right now let's go ahead and close this one all right perfect superb so we have successfully created our aws uh, key here all right i think i had just uh, closed that one all right so we have successfully created here our aws uh, key pair and in the next lesson i'll show you how you can create a security group with aws cli all right i'll see you next lesson